This has been played since Tudor times, but the ancient sport of rounders has been removed from the GCSE sports curriculum. It means it will no longer feature alongside rock climbing, snowboarding and canoeing. And the decision's been heavily criticised by the organisation which runs competitive sports across schools in Barnsley. Tanya Arnold takes up the story. You need a bat, a ball, four bases and some willing participants. Then you can play rounders. It's extremely popular at Bark Green Primary School in Barnsley and they're rather good at it. In fact, they're the national champions. It brings girls and boys together in a team and you can both play it. So it's not just a boys sport and it's not just a girls sport. What do you like about it? I can try and catch the ball and running after it. And what do you think it's taught you? That it's learned just to catch and hit the ball harder and make us more confident in sport. Rounders has a rich history. The earliest reference to it was in Tudor times. Sadly, they didn't have television back then to capture it, but they did in the 1920s. It's been part of most of our childhoods, but has now been taken off the curriculum, with the Department of Education saying sports included in the new PE GCSE had to meet strict criteria based on how reliably they can be assessed and how comparable they are so all pupils can be marked fairly. Do you think it's difficult to assess them doing rounders? No, you can soon see who the better players are. Lots and lots of different skills, the catching, the throwing, the running, the striking, the communication, the tactics. There's lots of things that you can assess children on. Team Active, which runs competitive sport in Barnsley, is concerned about the knock-on effect of the decision and that some primary schools will stop playing it too. Rounders is a great part of our competition programme that we're not just doing for kids, we're doing it for adults as well. But if, it, if that kudos of being an exam... Uh, sport disappears, will that send out the wrong message to our kids and they'll think, well, what's the point? Would you be sad if they said, we're not going to play it anymore? Yeah. Cause it's, re it's really fun and you get to you like meet new friends because there's loads of people that play it. I think it's very popular and, yeah, it would be really sad. <laughs> Bark Green certainly aren't about to stop playing rounders. Come the summer, they'll be bidding to retain their national title. Tanya Arnold, BBC Look North, Barnsley.